Last week, we did finish all the seismic beams, but my house is not done yet. We still have a lot of things to do here. The next step in order to continue the building of this house is to start working in the columns up. <laughs> so the first step is actually start leveling the whole structure with this level so we can cut these rebars to a specific um, altitude from the bottom of the seismic beams and then put the wooden structures and pour the concrete in. So we have to weld a couple of plates in the top, but we still need to cut them. I'm looking out from my window <laughs> Sun's coming up like the day before <laughs> like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door Bien. Agarrala de nuevo justo en la intersección, el cero que quede en la intersección. Vamos, señor tiburón. So this is a problem now. We need a plumb level, a uh, plumb bob, and we don't have one. We lost the one that we had. So we need to figure out a way how to make one, and this is my idea. A chisel and some fishing line. The physics are not gonna lie. What a plumb level does is that it keeps the center of something. I don't need exactly the center, I just need something pretty near to that. Tenemos un un nivel de cincel, okay? Es un plomo de nivel de primera clase. Es de marca, eh, es tropper. Este es de los caros. This is a final result. <laughs> I mean, it, it's gonna work. Look, the way that a plumb level works is that it has a weight in the bottom, so it pulls uh, this little rope or stream and it creates a straight line, so we can like measure with that. Yeah, this is pretty simple. I mean, it's gonna work. I think so. Corre! This is our story. This is our daily story. The rain is here and we are excited. Woohoo! Maybe we are not that excited about it. These are the new and official waterproof jackets. I made them. I know at this, at this point I should be working at Tesla, but I prefer to stay here. And yes, it is made out of a plastic bag. El plomo, eh? El plomo. Tiene que ser eso. Iberto named the pliers. ¿Cuál es el nombre de las pinzas, bro? Coco Coco Dry. That's the name for the pliers. Pariva, abo. We finished level on this structure by And now it's time to cut these rebar structures. And before you tell me that, I know that you may be thinking, hey, why you didn't think about that in the first moment when you were building the reverse structures. You could have made them shorter so you don't have to cut anything. Yeah, that was my mistake. I apologize. But now I have nothing else to do than cut this reverse structure. And I'm gonna leave one foot from the top of this level to the top of this reverse structure that I'm gonna cut. And in the top of this thing, I need to place a metal plate. Hey.
birds and see the sun. And you know what is said, a column is not ready until you put a metal plate in the top. Or maybe I'm the only one who says that. And this was actually my last cutting blade. In total, I had to use 12 of these little blades just to cut three single pieces. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to build my house, Kaylee and Jordan's house, even Kaki's house using this metal piece. This thing is so big and so heavy. I'm just gonna need 12 pieces of 10 by 10 inches. And dude, this thing is two meters by one meter. This thing is huge and heavy. I'm not sure what is harder, if cut this thing or move it. These are the plates that I just cut. And these plates are supposed to come in the top of the reverse structure that we did cut before. We have two ways to put them in the place. The first one is by welding it right here. I really like it. It's gonna be pretty weak. It's not gonna make the right work. And the second way to do it is actually open some holes in the metal plate. That is gonna be actually pretty hard. And then pass the rebars through those little holes and then weld the rebar in the top to the plate. So then it's gonna be stronger and we are gonna even weld it in the bottom. So it's gonna be way stronger. That is a way that I prefer to do it. I don't know why, but last night I did barely sleep one hour. I don't know, I was just not tired. I didn't feel I needed to sleep. So my body was just like, no, you're not gonna sleep, man. But no, I'm feeling it. So I'm just gonna take today off. And as I'm taking today off, there is something that I need to fix. And I'm talking about this girl right here. She is the weirdest girl I have ever seen in my life. She starts looking at you and and all of a sudden she goes like and then she starts just like yelling it's like Bleh. but it's it's very weird and then sometimes she does something with her tongue it's like Bleh. And that right there is a problem. She is an escaping artist. She can escape through the smallest possible gap. And she has been eating all our plants. She ate the eucalyptus trees, she ate the cypress trees, and a lot of other little plants that we had around. So it's time to stop her. That should be enough to stop this girl from escaping from her house. Good morning, people. We are ready for the action of the day. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna
to keep it low now. I woke up this morning and I did ask myself what it would be the best way to start the day. Would it be cutting some plywood? No. Or making some concrete? No. And what about cutting some rebar? Yes. Okay, you know what is next? I don't know, maybe plywood? Plywood structures? <laughs> So we just passed from concrete builders to carpenters. Now we are gonna build with wood. All those pieces of plywood that you see over there are the ones that we are gonna use to create the boxes um, that are gonna be like around all the metal structures, the river structures that we already built, and then we can put concrete in there. I just discovered something new for me. I'm glad I did ask, because if not, I will be screwed. I did text to the architect who designed my house because he knows, he knows about building with concrete, and I was asking him something about how to build these metal plates, and, and then he did ask me how I was planning to put together the old concrete with the new concrete, and I was kind of like, um, well, I'm just gonna pour the concrete in there, right in the top. And apparently, that's not the right way to do it. That was the way that I was thinking to do it. And honestly, if he didn't tell me that in time, I will screw it up. And he did recommend me to buy this thing. It says that it is a concrete bonding agent. It is basically a kind of paint or something that makes it easier to bond the old concrete to the new concrete. But you know, this is one of the things that happens when you don't really have that much experience working with concrete. Okay, now that I got this thing, I just need to apply it right there. <laughs> Now I just need to wait around two hours until this thing is completely dry. I'm looking out from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. You don't have to wake up. Your favorite music gone all the way baritone yeah. Shut the lights, go in front of red oh, We can spend all day in bed I get the wine Thank you. 
Got the first one done, baby. Look at this. These are actually the little plates that I was talking about. These little ones. It was so hard to cut them. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this building. In. I wanna dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I wanna bury the hatchet. And find the way back to our home, our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too Alright, after a whole day of work A lot of hammering A lot of concrete that ended with me being covered in concrete I can finally say that I have this thing done look at that one two three four I got four of the pillars four of the columns already done I'm just missing something I'm just missing a little detail it's not that little because it's one of the most important that is a welding of these rebars to the metal plate I need to do these weldings, but I'm not gonna do it today. I'm done, I'm tired, I already passed all my frustration of the day in here. So that's gonna be it. And here is where I'm gonna say hasta la vista to you guys. Thank you so much for supporting this journey of building my house. I appreciate it so much. You guys are the best. I love you so much and I will see you next weekend. And cross the sea I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late